select the door, go to one of the empty slots. Okay, I already have a door texture available. Move up, apply, and we have a door. Okay. Next thing is to put some textures onto the blades. Go to another, another materials editor and we'll select that material. Okay, and that should be applied to all the other parts. Okay, and let's go back and also add another material here. Apply that. Okay. Now this whole thing is one object. How do you apply multiple materials to just one object? Okay, the way is to okay, make sure you have an edit poly available and select the material that you want to be different with Okay, the polygon select tool. Scroll down or pull the panel up all the way and you want to set that material as one. Okay, so that's material one. Okay, the next thing is to select the other materials, uh, the other parts, and that's material three. Okay, what about the that part? We'll make it material four. Okay, and also all these areas. Sorry. Okay, we'll make that material five. Right? So now let's go back to the materials editor. Choose this slot. Okay? What we want to do is to have a multi sub object material. Okay, by selecting that standard, change the standard to a multiple sub-object material. Discard the old material. So, okay, what's material one? That's the roof, right? So, for material one roof, we want to apply a map that looks like a roof. Okay, go up. Okay, um, and apply that. Okay, um, we'll deal with that later. Okay, for now let's apply the other materials. Go up again, back to the second material. Um, material two, three should be the body of the windmill. Okay, material four should have another type of material. Um, let's let's see. Okay, and material five we can pick another material for that. Okay, so that's all the materials applied. Now, um, now we're going to go back and 
select material 3. Okay, let's do 3 first, right? So this is the material, that's 3. And we, with that selected, we're going to apply a UV W map just on that 3 section. UVW, make sure it's a box. And maybe 60. No, not too good. 30, 30, and 30. Okay, that's more like it. So, again, apply another edit poly. Look, look at the history. Now go back and select the roof. Polygon. We're going to select the roof. Okay. Select the roof. And apply another UVW map over it. Box. Um, spherical. Yeah, that, that's better. 40. 40. 40. Okay, not too good. Maybe slightly smaller. Okay, say 9, 9, and 9. Trial and error. Okay, so that's your windmill. Now, um, for the chicken farm, we need some shadows, right, onto this building. So let, let's bake the shadow. Now, we're, we're going to bake the shadow only on this portion, okay? Maybe we should save it first. Okay, remember, always to save your work in case you lose it. Okay, so let's, um, let's create some lights. And it should also generate some shadows. We'll, we'll give it, have, have a look first. Okay, a little bit too, too dark. So we're going to create another light over here. But make sure the intensity is not as strong. And we're going to render that again. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Okay, with some shadows, right? Okay, a little bit better. So let's just bake the shadow for time's sake. Render the texture. Oh, sorry. You should be selecting the windmill first. Select the windmill. Um, same process at a diffuse map. Okay, um, save it as a diff JPEG onto your desktop. Windmill. Okay, um, a high quality, maybe 1024 even, lighting shadows, render. So that make, make all the materials into its proper order. Make sure you, you save that, okay, save that again. And remember to also save the UVW map, uh, the coordinates, green meal. Okay, remove that and add and unwrap UVW load the windmill again. Go back to the materials editor, okay, scroll in, create to another material slot, select the bitmap that you, you've just saved onto, onto the desktop. Okay, go up, apply it.
okay, wait, let's um, make that, uh, let's convert that into a editable poly, add an unwrap modifier to it. Okay, so now even without lightings, lights, okay, delete the lights, you can see shadow, so that's actually a fake shadow, look, okay, let's look at the other side, okay, so that's the end of the lesson.